step up his... All right. Well, we're having fun now, aren't we? Having almost too much fun. All right. Now, uh, have, you, have you ever wondered what goes into the making of a major network show such as this? Yeah, well, I, I guess it's crossed all of our minds occasionally. And so tonight we are proud to present another installment of a feature which salutes the talented professionals who put Late Night together. Late Night is more than just the jokes, the songs, the fancy sets. Late Night is people, not just the marvelous stars you see on the show, but the people you don't see. Yes, the people behind Late Night. For the program, my name is David Letterman. We have assembled a fine hour of television for you tonight. And before we commence, let me, uh, reading an interesting study from the University of Columbia just up the street here in New York, uh, apparently now, most incurable illnesses, uh, all emotional illness, and most juvenile crime is now thought to be caused by bargain muffins. <laughs> yes, another day, another first-rate opening joke. But where does this endless stream of witty observations come from? Tonight, meet the man behind the opening joke, comedy writer Steve O'Donnell. <laughs> Steve O'Donnell starts each day with what some call an impossible task. His assignment? to write a perfect opening remark. Yes, Steve's job begins even before he arrives. On his way to work, Steve makes notes of all possible areas of comic inspiration. Now he must go through that list to find the ideal target for his satiric bar. Today, Steve's joke concerns Bargain muffins. But Steve's not ready to write yet, no. First, Steve thoroughly researches his topic. And at last, he's ready and types the words he is sure will make America laugh. Matadors call it the moment of truth. And to Steve, that moment comes when he hands in his joke. <laughs> and nervously awaits a verdict. Final approval by network executives. First stop, standards and practices. And then it's on to the programming department. Next, audience research, program analysis, marketing, and legal affairs. Just moments before airtime, the joke is finally cleared. And it is presented to the American public. Before we commence, let me, uh, reading an interesting study from the University of Columbia just up the street here in New York, uh, apparently now, most incurable illnesses, uh, all emotional illness, and most juvenile crime is now thought to be caused by bargain muffins. <laughs> yes, unlike the rest of the country, Steve doesn't have to watch the show. His job is done. He has written an opening joke that brings new glory to late night, NBC, and the entire American nation. 
The show's just beginning as Steve's day is ending, but he'll be back tomorrow because he knows the show can't begin without him. And that's why he is one of the people behind Late Night. We'll be right back with David Johansson.